What if Fleagle was the main villain in the Banana Splits movie? I know it's... I know... Oh, I know I did hit 200 subscribers, and I'm sorry this was delayed. But hey, we hit reached 200 now, so let's get this video... And I want this get video to get over with. So, first off, I think this is a good reason why Fleagle should be the main villain. Because... Fleagle is the main leader, even though for some reason he was the first one that died in the Banana Splits movie. In short, he did reactivate just like, like what a main villain does. But, so, what should we do about this lobbery dog? Well, let's find out. So, the way how this starts is when the Splits entered up, entered up with Carl. Oh. Who dis the guy who created the splits after what happened with Harley. Oh, Fleagle, you little, little mistress you are. Hmm, I don't know what happened. Someone needs to get their updated, and I believe we should start with you, Fleagle, since you need to stop at the right moment before you almost hit him. You would have got a lot of trouble there, buddy. So, you need to go first. As Bingo, Snorky, and Drooper left with Carl and Fleagle in the room, Fleagle then walked up into, like, the charger, or where the robots charge. And so, the update is starting to begin. But then, Fleagle started to grow red eyes, and that's when the terror started to begin. As the show began, it began normally with Bingo, Drooper, and Snorky, but without Fleek all around. And this also happened with the sloppy time scene as well. But until in Wheel of Endings, Ink part, Fleek, you know, th that's when the part where Fleek all comes in. So that's why I want to let you know if uh, the show scene happened with while Fleek was charging. So, there you go. In this part where Stevie confronted the splits about the show's cancellation, uh, he did mention about like the show's cancelled as he walked into his room. What are we going to do now that the show is cancelled, guys? Well, Drooper, I did hear that, that Annie mentioned about like they'll sell us to the theme park industry, and we're not going to let that happen. No, Bingo, of course we're not going to let that happen. And you know what? I got an amazing idea that would teach Stevie a lesson. What would that be, Fleagle? Drooper, I need you to go in Stevie's room. And I want you to get the lollipop and then kill him. Wait, what? I said, go in his room and kill him. Fleagle, what's got into you? You never act like this. I guess someone needs a little update. Wait, what? As Drooper was extremely confused, Fleagle walked up to him, touched his shoulder, and then the weirdest thing happened. Now do you understand me, Drooper? Yes, Fleagle. I now understand. Killed Stevie. He deserved it. He extremely deserved it. The scene begins normally as Stevie dead, dies and actually kills Stevie with the lollipop. When Drooper walked out of Stevie's janitor, well, his dressing room, he then questioned Fleagle about oh, why he decided to do it. Well, Drooper, I decided to do that to teach Stevie a little lesson. And you know what? I found the perfect plan on how to do this. Split, gather up. If Andy wants to bring, this sh bring our show down... Well, the whole cast has to go down with us. Who's with me? I guess we can give the cast a piece of their own medicine. Well, after killing Stevie, it did feel really good. So I guess I am in. The rest does go normal with Fleagle doing his magic trick. And Bingo trying to kill Austin and Beth. Even though Beth did kill, try to um kill Bingo. And Snorky running over Mitch, you, in act, but this version, Mitch actually dies from the car. Alright, this is it, the big finale. 
let's get started. After Flegal killed Jonathan by using the key, instead of Rebecca, oh, I was being distracting Flegal, it dropped me off. She actually pushes Flegal into the ground, but he, but he, um, Jonathan broke Flegal's fall. After Drew Bird extremely demolished Rebecca, he then looked towards Flegal, um, except he looked down and he actually saw Flegal's body and decided to take his body, and he also found Bingo's body, and he decided to carry his as well. When Snorky came up to meet Harley, Harley did and asked Snorky to help him, but then Snorky started to begin to cry as he gave Harley's hand to him. In this scene where um, the humans were coming to fight the splits, um, Poppy did hear or like some loud circus breaking and she also saw the mysterious hoodie costume but she heard like a lot of twitching and sparks screaming. Flegel and Bingo got up as they were actually faking their own deaths. Poppy then puts on the hoodie costume as like a bit of like a distraction. As Flegel and Bingo were confused they decided to leave there to leave the room leaving Poppy and Carl in the same room. When Beth and Beth Page and Austin found where the kids are, this is about where the nighttime show starts. But the big difference is that Bingo is in this. And, and after uh, when Stevie got killed, it was time for the Wheel of Endings part. But this difference is they don't land on Banana Split. They actually land on Hammer Time. And what Hammer Time is... Fleeco gave Drooper a hammer and Big O an axe. Well, while you two are going to do the Wheel of Endings part, I'll be right back to get some more props. As Fleeco leaves Bingo and Drooper in the Wheel of Endings part, or Drooper said, Ready, Bingo? And Bingo said, Ready. And Bingo slams and hits Stevie, I mean, no, Andy's left arm and his right leg as Andy is screaming at Paige. And as gun as his as his arms and legs are falling off, and then Drooper said, three, two, one, hammer time!" And as Drooper's hammer hits Andy's his head, and a big explosion of blood comes out of nowhere. This is also a reason why I put a giant large censored sign right here as to cover it, because it, it does look pretty brutal. So, you're and welcome. now finally the fight scene when Bed was. I was starting to fight Bingo and Trooper. Bingo marched up to bed. But this time, but actually, in this part, Bet slams, hits her wrench right into Bingo's left eye and falls to the ground. And she starts slamming into Bingo's body. But when Bingo got up, uh, part of his face was removed, just like how Fleagle looked like in a Banana Splits movie while Trooper is choking on Bet. As Bingo and Trooper were marching towards Bet, and and Bingo grabbed um to Beth's back. Instead of saying males here, Bingo tells Drooper that it's lunchtime. And what is lunchtime? Well, Drooper then started growing large teeth and claws and roars viciously like the animal is betrayed us. Then grabs Beth and then almost about to devour um on Beth's head until Austin came. Got Bingo's attention and it stabs Bingo at his head with his crowbar, and then Bingo collapsed. When Drooper let go of Bet, he then start rushing to Austin by punching him, and then scratches Bet's back, and then starts choking on Bet until Harley rushed up to Drooper, and it stabs Drooper right in his back, and killing him. When he and and ran to Flegel as they were trying to escape, Flegel then explains on why the split actually did this. For, I see you actually managed to kill my two good friends, Bingo and Trooper. Well, we created this to get our show back. And now, with this saw my hand, it's time for you all to die. I'm not going to give y'all any last words on Earth. So, prepare to die. As Flegel was about to walk towards them, um, 
Snorky then pushed Flegel to the ground, dropping his saw. And and Flegel and confused said, and Flegel El said this, Snorky, what are you doing? I thought we were buds. Until suddenly, Snorky decided to suddenly speak on what he said. Now, Flegel, I'm done with this terror. I'm not doing this anymore. I stopped because of a little hero. And now, I'm going to fight you. I'm going to end this, Flegel. Well, Snork, if you're going to... Well, Snork, if I'm going to take them down, I guess you're going to go down with them. Flegel and Snorky didn't start fighting each other. But this time, the fights went for longer, and then, just, and then they started to make animals like the animals they betrayed as. <laughs> After all of all of that, Flegel then starts ripping Snorky's heart out. But instead of laughing, he then explains something really interesting. Do you see, Snork? This is what you get for betraying us and for quitting our bond. And now, die. This is what you deserve. Until suddenly, Snorky grabbed the saw. And then stabs it right down on Flegel's head. And then they both collapse to the ground. Snorky, you saved us. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'm sorry. This is not how your birthday was so well to be. I'm sorry. This happened. Goodbye, Harley. I wish you a happy birthday in heaven. Goodbye. Ugh. As Beth, Paige, Zoe, and Austin comfort Harley about what happened, they then look to Flegel. They do see loud sparks, and then Flegel said his final word. I'll put some subtitles down to hear about what Flegel is saying. <laughs> Flegel is officially dead. He can't reactivate anymore. Well, until the ending. And no, guys, I'm not going to do the ending part because it's basically going to be the same thing. So, yeah. So, yeah, guys, this is my version 